Oh, what the hell, Frisbee? Huh? Let's get that Trans Am up and running again. And now, here they are! The most daredevil group of daddy drivers to ever whirl their wheels in the wacky races. Competing for the title of the world's wackiest racer. The cars are approaching the starting line. First is the Turbo Terrific, driven by Peter Perfect. Next, Rufus, Rupcut, and Sawtooth in the buzz wagon. Maneuvering for position is the Army Surplus Special. Right behind is the Ant Hill Mob in their bulletproof bomb. And there's ingenious inventor, Pat Pendy, in his converter car. Oh, and here's the lovely Penelope Pitstop, the glamour gal of the gas pedal. Sneaking along last is that mean machine with those double dealing do batters, Nick Dastardly and his sidekick, Muckley. And even now they're up to some dirty trick, and they're off! So I've spoken about a ton of 80s and 90s anime, and had my rant about how I feel most new anime doesn't stack up. Well today, I'm going to talk about one of the few exceptions that stand out above the rest, Redline. Released in 2009 by Madhouse, this science fiction racing anime may very well be one of the most action-packed and fun animated films I've ever seen. We follow a washed-up, second-rate racer named JP through a strange universe of diverse characters and exciting, fast-paced action. After losing the redline qualification race to a green-haired beauty with nice boobs named Crab Sanache, he is given a chance to compete when many other racers drop out due to an announcement that the redline will take place on the heavily militarized and not at all welcoming Roboworld. Criminals disturb our galaxy's order with their barbaric and immoral intentions! Roboworld is a symbol of progressive humanity, whose only aim is to live in peace in the universe! I will never allow this redline scum entry into our sacred homeland! The plot isn't the strongest element of redline at all. While there are a ton of fun characters and subplots, it's all really just an excuse to get these wacky racers cruising around at insane speeds with lots of explosions and boobs, and I'm totally okay with that. Visually, this is a stunning film. Adding to the previously mentioned eye candy is some extremely fluid animation and a bright comic book-like aesthetic. The music selection mirrors the visual intensity and action well, with an appropriate upbeat techno soundtrack. Redline also has a prequel OVA of sorts named Trava, Fist Planet, which doesn't really live up to the raw excitement and grandeur of the film, but does add some backstory to some of the characters. Redline is just pure dumb fun. Hell, I'm just trying to keep this thing interesting. You can't write me off like that. You're just a voice, pal. You don't know a damn thing about racing! There's never a dull moment in this extremely visceral film experience, and I highly recommend it. So if you haven't yet, go check it out. And if you have, leave me a comment below and tell me your thoughts. Once again, this was Fade Dragon Tear. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Oh my god, it is amazing!